Hi guys, welcome back to another 20M episode where I play a select game once only for 20 minutes. Here, I play You Have to Win the Game, simply put. This is a simple 8-bit platformer that is available for free on Steam. You can actually play this game with a CRT filter and I'll show that off in just a moment. But first of all, let's go ahead and start a new game. I've actually played this game a few months ago. And, as a matter of fact, I've beaten the game already. So let's go ahead, I'll show you that, that filter. It is right here. Simulation, turn that on. There we go. And save the changes. As you can see, it feels like you're playing a game from the late 80s to the early 90s. But I'm going to switch it back over to the way that I like it in HD. I'm also show this off too, the EGA graphics. I'll turn that off. And, yeah, it gives you, like, these pink and teal colors. It's actually hurting my eyes, so I'm going to turn that back on. Give it some original color here. That's more like it. Okay, so, when you first start this game, all you can do is jump and move left and right and such. You can look down like this if you want to, and it'll be very helpful to go down certain platforms. I'll show you up ahead. So here... What you need to do is you touch these bells, and there'll be a checkpoint, so when you die like this, you spawn from the last bell that you've hit. Okay, moving on. Those snakes are enemies, there's other enemies as well. You can't hurt them, but if you touch them, they can hurt you, and you die, and you start from the last bell that you touched, apparently. So this is what happens when you hit down. See, you can go down platforms like this. Let's drop down here. Now if you look on the bottom, it says, which path will I take? In each section of the game will say something different. Like here it says Subterranea. And on the bottom right corner you have a percentage. I believe that is for when you go to like a new certain part of the level. So in other words, to get to 100%, you need to find every section of the game. Every like section, like this is a section, and this is a section as well, for lack of better terms. And the water, that's also a hazard. And I think I explained pretty much there is about the game, so just, I guess we'll just play on from here. The first thing I need to get is a certain orb. This will help unlock these, these invisible blue tiles and turn them solid. Like hitting a, one of those like, palace switches in Super Mario World, if you know what I'm saying. It should be close by. That mirror down there is a warp portal. And this platform right here, they disappear after you touch them. If you want them to respawn, you have to leave the area and they respawn as such. Up ahead will be a boss. But this boss and all other bosses that you come across, you can't hurt them. And what they do is they shoot these certain projectiles. All you need to do is just avoid them, that's it. So I need to go to the right. Actually, if I go to the left, and take this big long jump. Ooh, just made it too. And drop down. And quickly, quickly, I can just get this money bag. There's money bags everywhere in this game. If you can collect them all, then you'll unlock an achievement. Alright, now back up to the, the Hollow King area here. I think, that, apparently that's his name according to what it says on the bottom. Okay, here we go. Mm, now. There, did it. There's the orb. Activates the blue ghost blocks. As such, now I can cross. I think I need to go down here. I think so. It's been a few months, so I can't remember most of the game. Can't okay, made that. Watch out for the snakes. Up here. Aha! See? Now I can tra uh, traverse across this as well. Oh god! I hate these things. They move too fast. Okay, let's see how I can do this. Okay, made that. If you go to the right here, it'll take you back to the left. It'll be like a loop. It's like you're in like an illusionist area. Okay, made that. Um, I am not gonna go to the right, I mean to the left and go down. It'll take me back to where I was, so... I think the best area I need to go is to the right. And I hate this part of the game. Oh, I just gotta wait it out for a little bit. It's because that bat 
and the spikes on that little like red platform there, that little brick, it just throws me off a little bit. I can get hit by that. So I'm going to have to weigh it out and time it right. Oh, I can't reach. Shoot. Now I can, right here. Aha, I did it. Alright, so, if you look here, oh crap, let me try that one again. You just keep falling down and down, as you can see, there's only just two areas. I can get the money back here. Oh, never mind, now it's just floating in air. Another money bag. I'm going to ignore that money bag, I don't really care for them that much. Now I'm going to show you this too. Up here on the left... Climb up here a little bit, and hey, what do you know? I'm back where I am. It's it's best if you go to the left and get the blue orb first, so you can unlock those blue platforms. Because I think there's one that you can go across up here. So, in other words, if you went to the right first without hitting the blue orb, you would it would be a while. Like you would take a wrong turn. I don't think there's anything over here. Nope. What is the magic symbol? Uh, let's see. Down here, I think. And then to the right. Uh oh crabs. Uh -uh. I don't like jumping here either. Oh, I just made it, though. Bring a mallet. Because here's the other boss. A crab. Safety zone. Actually, you know what? If I hurry up. This is a safety zone, too. Okay. Three, two, one, now. Crap. Try again. Now. Okay. And now. Yay, now I got the red orb. Activates the red blocks this time. Just like that. Now, I can't remember where the other red blocks were. Maybe over here? There they are. There's something else I need to talk about, too, about this game. I am playing this on the original, like, version, or not version, or... Don't know. There's original and then there's extra spicy. I'm not sure what the difference is, but I'm also playing this on normal difficulty. There's also playable cat difficulty where instead of having infinite lives, you have only have nine lives. If you lose all nine of your lives before you beat the game, you have to start all over again. And then there's another one called YOLO mode. And all this you're the same guy wearing a pair of shades, but there is no bells to collect. If you die even once before you hit uh, end the game, then you have to start from the beginning. Like I said, there's no bells or no checkpoints, so it makes it really difficult. Let's see if I can get through this. Oh, I hit the wrong button. Uh, uh. Ooh, that was close. Okay, made that. Uh, I'm not going to bother with that money bag. Let's keep going. Uh, now. And now, whoops, crap. Okay, hit this. Now drop. Right timing. And now, uh, get, get, get. okay. Huh? What do you know? A dead end. But I do remember something about this. Let's head back. Uh -huh. A little bit tricky there. I just picked up a money bag. Okay, now I gotta get to that. Crap, I screwed that one up. I meant to get that money bag. Alright, and... Just made it. Alright, into the portal we go! A memory of a dream. A dream of a memory! I'm already, I already found 25% of the game sections already. Up here, and I gotta go to... Oh, shoot. This way? Yes, this way. Now I'm here. Oh, uh, shoot. Let's go this way first. Again, I can't remember. Nope, dead end. Back this way. Okay, when I was looking for all the money bags, there was only one left and I could not find it. I'm going to show you where it is. It's down here. Do you see where it is? It's across this pond. If you look carefully, it's brown. It's camouflaged with the ground. I was so pissed when I finally found that. How come they didn't give it a different color? It just threw me off a lot. 
Okay, let's see. I got 10 minutes, so we're halfway done. Halfway done the video, not the game. Up here, and... There's gonna be another boss coming up. Should be right up here. Here it is. Green man. Uh, ooh, ooh, that was close. And now? And now. Okay. And I found the spring heel boots. Jump again in mid-air so you can do double jumps. I forgot to hit that bell, though. There we go. So there's one ability that I have now. Wink. Alright, now I'm back over to where I am. Okay, let's see. Now that I have double jump, let's go back to the right. You know, I got that got me thinking. There's a possible chance that I might be able to beat this game before I end the episode. It, it's a it's a small chance, but still a chance. We'll see what happens. I gotta go this way though. This is where I need to do the double jump. So a single jump is not enough to reach that mushroom platform, whatever they're called. This little thing right here, this red thing. It's an enemy. It's like, why is it... It, it confuses me. Anyways, another boss coming up. Right in the next room. There it is. Run! Whoops, I don't know why I did that for. Let's try this again. I made it, nice. And this one is the spider gloves. Cl cling to walls and leap off. This is my favorite ability. This is why. You can just keep climbing forever and ever and ever. Well, until you hit, like, a ceiling. Hey, give me that bell. Okay. Oh, no, get up there. Now you can see there's platforms that are... What's the word I'm looking for? Vertical or horizontal? I think the one I'm on, that I'm on right now is horizontal. So this is a, the one right here is vertical. But these vertical ones, you're gonna have to, like, whoops, cling to it for a little bit. So you can get over there to that section of the game, or the, the little entryway. Here we go. Aw, oh, crap! Darn Jun, try that again. Here we go. Ah, oh, shoot. That was clever. Ah, oh, jeez! I had good momentum going there. Oh, that, that's not fair. It pushed me through the wall. Got it. Okay. Oh, I hate this part. I forgot what that heart does. I think it's like another, like, money bag style collectible. I'm actually going to show you a secret, uh, room. Crap. It's up there. Let's see if I can get to it. Here we go. Dang it! Come on, you can do better than that. Here we go. Ah, uh, oh, crap. No. Try again. You didn't even touch the thing. Stop wasting time. There. Oh, I had it! Are you serious? There we go. It's just a money bag. That's it. Let's wait it out. Whoops. No, shoot. Stay down. Stay low. No! Are you serious? Here we go. Ugh, made it. Phew! Close one. Go back down here. And now I'm back to where I was. Let's keep going this way, though. Now that I have the, the wall climbing gig, I forgot where I need to go next. Uh, let's see. Oops, dead end. I gotta go back down here. Oh, I remember now. I gotta go back up here. Bing -a bing I have, like, five minutes, six minutes, somewhere around there. It's possible I can still beat this game. Whoop, that was a bust. Jump, jump, and drop. There we go. I gotta go up here. There's another boss, but you just have to keep climbing fast. Here we go. I did terrible. You can do better than that. Ah, come on. There we go. Swimming upstream. That's why it's called 
There, you have to go really fast. Let's see what's up here. Just a money bag. Okay, this way. I'm gonna try something. Ah, shoot. I can do this. Ah, oh, almost. I'm gonna take a shortcut if I can. Oh, nope. No, I fell down! Don't hit the bell. Do not hit that bell. I'm gonna die on purpose. See? Now I'm back to where I was. Okay, I'm gonna try this again. Here we go. Oh! Oh, oh my god, I almost had it! You can do it. Oh, I fell down again. Don't hit the bell. Just commit suicide. Here we go. You can do this. No. Oh, I hit my head again. Oh, almost. Oh, my word. I can do this. Come on. Oh, stop hitting your head. Close. Jeez. Oh, so close. Oh, my word. Darn Sean. I keep hitting my head. Okay. Yes! Aha! I knew I could do it. Bingo. Took a big shortcut. I can't go that way. Maybe up here? Aha, yep, yeah, this way. I have four minutes. I think there's gonna be one more boss, and it's really hard. Oh, okay. Yep, it's coming up right here. I think, actually, it might be in the next room. Yep, here it is. Last boss is the hardest one, too. Okay. If you were playing this on YOLO mode, this is your breaking point right here. You get hit here, you're done. You have to start all the way back to the start of the game. Okay, I got three minutes left. I There's a chance that I might beat this game. So here we go. I can do this. Crap! Come on, you can do it. Oh! I hit my foot! Come on. Oh my god! Ah! Oh, I touched the stupid shrimp! Are you serious? Oh, I'm getting hit all over the place now. Oh, come on! Fight out of it. Dang it! Uh, uh, I did it! Nice! Oh, oh, I hit the bell! Oh, my word! I almost had a heart attack there. Okay. The end of the game should be right up here. I can't believe it. I might actually beat this game in time. I remember playing this on YOLO mode, and I actually beat it, and it took me 8 minutes. But, but it was during a time where I played it so much, I knew where I was going. Alright. Yeah, here we go. Let me hit that bell first, though. There we go. The point of no return. What do you want from me? Uh, let me go back up here. Because I think there is a code. This is going to be a spoiler for you guys. Because I remember it plain as day. S. U. Uh, P. And it spelled it for me on the bottom there. E. And then I need one more letter. Letter R. It spells super. That should be the password. I go up through here. Yep. That should do it. Unbelievable! I beat this in almost 20 minutes. Congratulations! You won the game. Playtime. 18 minutes, 18 seconds. Deaths, 32. Completion, 48.5%. Keep searching to find everything, including those money bags and that heart that we saw earlier and such. Yeah, so wow, I actually beat it. On normal difficulty, that is. Okay, so if you want to try this game out for yourselves, again, it is free to play on Steam. And once again, if you want to play it with certain settings such as playing it in CRT mode or with the CRT filter, that is, or if you want to use those pink and teal colors 
go right for it. You have all kinds of options here. Okay, with that being said, time's up. That's going to do it for this 20M episode. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time. But until then, like always, take care. Thank you.